Got eight amazing roller coaster creations to showcase for you guys today. These are prototype coasters from our Project Planko main attractions competition we launched a couple weeks ago. Basically, we task builders with the challenge of making prototype coasters to go for our themed area, main character, and theme song. While it seems like a tall order, they were asked only to make a prototype slash proof of concept, which will help us visualize what that coaster could become. From here, we need to review them all so we can ultimately pick a winner to continue working on this creation to bring it to full realization. So I wanna take you guys on that journey with us and that starts here today where we check out all of the prototypes. Eventually, this builder will complete the ride to full completion and we will also showcase that in the eventual future. So this is part two of two and we'll be showcasing the last half of the competition entries. I will also be joined by Warmgar and Zephor as special guests so they can add their own feedback and comments. So let's delay no further and get right on into it. All right, uh, we are doing the King Ghoster area, which this is King Ghoster's spooky land. We haven't come up with a name for it. And technically this will be King Ghoster's dark carnival. And the idea is that we wanted a dark carnival and a dark ride. And what we have is a really, really good song that it has a lot of really cool spooky elements to it. Yeah, we're, we're hoping that someone could make us a dark ride. Daddy Poe was the only one that has attempted it for us. So we only have one to look at here. What do they have to say for us? The the direction of the ride is depicting what it's like to be crazy. All of this it, you're seeing from inside your head. Everything here is mainly a placeholder. I'm hoping it expected the, uh, the, the community will uh, to help. They want the community to help build them. And that... Um... The large tent is the queue and stationary. The The length of the ride can be extended. I do want the small carousel to be part of the background of the carnival scene. So they've got like a ride skin of the carousel, I assume. Mm. In ah. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They've got a uh, custom audio. I'm not sure if it's the same. I one. like how you put terrain signs where the terrain yeah. is. <laughs> I see that there's terrain there. Oh. I, th I think they originally uh, uploaded this as a blueprint. The blueprint. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then they changed their mind and did it as a part file, which, you know, makes a lot more sense anyway mm -hmm. okay yeah. all right well my first impressions is the track is really small so i'm glad that they said that they can and be extended but there are a lot of points in this song that have like really crazy spinning like a lot of a lot of craziness and like i said the bitter elegance playlist is down in the description below if you want to hear the full song of this dark carnival that'll be down below hopefully we get some of the best parts of the song in this ride let's check it out go in seat view middle seat Boom, 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 boom. Spooky maze. Step inside. Welcome to the maze. It's Whoa. only fear. Okay. It's only fear that's laughing in your face. <laughs> Do you have your light on? I do. Okay. Sorry. No, it's alright. I'm glad you noticed. I always notice, Johnny. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. Oh. I like that. Mm-hmm. Plinko thing. I like how the audio editing had a few jump scares in it. I didn't notice that. But I will. No, I mean, no. What I mean is, where they like cut 
they cut and pasted it at, at interesting times. I wonder, can, can I, is there a way for me to just like play the song? Or I guess, uh, I guess I could put it on a speaker or something. But no, there there are. So I could see why the song was cut so that it times. Right, right. And that does make sense. But at the same time, that has to be cleaned up, which can also be somewhat tricky. I think it's just speeding up the huntsman in a way or the section of it so that it just flows without it having to be edited like that but that's probably something that they had intended for but it would have been nice to just see it here without you know working because that that does seem like a bit of a cleanup task there and it did use mm -hmm. some of the best parts of the um you know like the crazy losing your mind now i'm spinning now i'm running now and then the ticking clocks and stuff we didn't have any like the song has these creepy kids they're like chanting something and it's really creepy. I would have liked to see like a whole segment where there's like faces in the walls and like little things like that. There there are a few elements and going through this dark carnival, the actual main chorus, it was used when we came out here just a little bit, but I don't feel it was the full thing. And I would have really liked to kind of bask in this dark carnival. I originally kind of suggested that if I were to design this ride myself, it'd be a good idea to centralize the carnival here. And then every time the course kicks in, it's coming back into the center. And and then it goes off into the sides where it's doing another spinning. Now I'm screaming. Now I'm running. Now I'm done. And then it comes back out. This dark carnival kicks into the chorus. And then when it goes into, you know, talking about mazes and different things, or it's got the creepy kids, it's going off into a section. And the way the song is, there's probably like 30 to 40 seconds of verse in between each chorus, which allows you to go into these corridors, come back into this dark carnival for the chorus, go into these corridors, come back into this dark carnival for the chorus. This kind of just like, shortened it all and I think it worked I'm pretty okay with it it's it's not bad but I also feel like it's not completely doing the song justice and they did say that they could make it longer yeah I, I think they said it themselves that it, it could be extended which I think I think it should be um, it's, it's a dark ride a, it just, right it should be long yeah, just a dark and ride. slow it needs at least it, it needs at least like two or three more rooms to make it like Every dark ride we've ever I mean, featured this, on the show are like 15 minutes long. <laughs> right, this, but I this, mean, this feels like very, very like sense, yeah. this feels like very theme park realistic. Like this True. would actually, this could actually exist. Yes, but, right. You know, then again, what we're looking for is not necessarily something that could exist. We're looking for stuff impossification. Like goes, <laughs> goes be, yeah, it goes beyond right. what's realistic and is kind of crazy. Yeah. So yes. So but these concepts to... were good. Like the clicking mm -hmm. clocks with the sound of the ticking yeah. clocks and the spinning and the and the sirens. These concepts are great, and this is exactly what I would have thought to have on the ride. And it, and I was really hoping to see a little bit more of those gizmos. I think this is the hardest one to do because you can't with the other coasters and stuff. You can just pro like put some blocks down and some blueprints and you know some stuff like this. Where here you actually have to show like some crazy stuff, which means you actually have to have some triggers, some lights, some animatronics and different things yeah. to represent. And I knew that this one was going to be like the one that's really, really tricky. He <laughs> I just noticed this. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to say anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I, uh, I, I want to see more of it. I almost want to see this. Well, the cool thing with dark rides is like just to get a proof of concept, you actually don't have to do a whole lot. Like most dark rides are just like it's focused on one central thing, like a like that one room with the clock or mm -hmm. with the, the maze. It's like it's it's got one core idea. And I think if you just do that, extend that with three or four more rooms that fit with the lyrics of the song, that it would be it would be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, this this is one of these ones where we only have the one to show. So do we go forward with this? Do we refine it? We This is a discussion that we're going to have to have after and figure out what we're going to do. We don't have anything to compare it against right and we don't and we do see room for improvement we would like a longer coaster there but then there is certain elements of it that are working really well and daddy poe has definitely showed that he's able to deliver on some of the concepts that the theme song brings so we're just gonna have to see what we're gonna do from here and discuss it after but so i think it has uh it's done the dark carnival right it, it's done some of these cool scenes well it uses some of the best parts of the song so i i still think it's think um on track I think the one thing that I, I think may, might have been something that we could have done is I know in the in the list of like the checklist, we said it doesn't need to be King Ghoster themed. And actually, I, I would have leaned into the King Ghoster part of it because he is kind of a, a character. Yeah. And just to see like a scene with him in here, at least at least one room would be really cool. 
because yep. I would have done like a whole Luigi's Mansion type thing, you know, with with King Ghoster, but I would have I, I would have detracted from the song. So sounds like you're doing the main song, attraction now. You've just assigned uh, yourself to it. <laughs> no. Luigi's Mansion coming right up. Johnny, you're, you're using me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, member chant won a contest with Luigi's Mansion. We might, yes. we, we might have to. We might Just have to post chant. To do it. <laughs> but that, no, now now we're saying that we're not picking Daddy Poe. I still want to leave Daddy Poe uh, open yeah, here. Yeah. I think you did a good job here, Daddy Poe. I definitely think we should discuss this further and see what I want to have a one on one with him and see what other ideas he has in mind. Yep, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, anything else to say for? No, except that Daddy Poe actually doesn't want to do anymore. He can't, He's saying the game doesn't, it just, just doesn't run anymore. So he's happy to hand this off to someone else. Oh, okay, we're back to the drawing board. So if anyone watching this video <laughs> wants to step up to the plate, uh, DM me. <laughs> okay. Yep, okay. And other than that, I will have to beg Chant for yet another task. <laughs> I was really hoping we would get Starport 55 because he did the Mesmer Dark Ride. Yes, I, I was thinking that the whole time. But he says he's a little bit busy, and I cried myself yeah. to sleep for three weeks straight. So and now I'm out uh. of tears. We're going to move on to the next creation. Okay, we're kicking things off with Dex R. He's our last character, I think. No, we have Rene Fu still. Just to give everyone some context, Dex R does not have a theme song, and we were going to add voice acting in after based off of what kind of a cosmic voyage you took us on. The backstory that I gave people to build us is basically Dex R is a droid for aliens, and his coaster should be a journey through the cosmos. So different, visiting different planets, different terrain, you know, and then all of the scenes that we build for it are, you know, what the aliens were doing, crashed landings, different planets, different things, uh, a nice little voyage, and whatever we see on your experience, we'll just add voice acting to. We'll add like a fun little story in. And then that way it's a little bit different. It's not uh, another song coaster. And we, we have more stuff like this, uh, like Zayfor has a coaster. Um, and we have some other rides that we're going to have that are voice acted or neither voice acting or music. So just to break things up a little bit, this is kind of one of the ones that we're, what we need to judge things on is not the song, but how good was the journey through the terrain, right? That is the preface that we have to go on. Right. Okay. So this one is Katarina Kitty Cats. Are those? And they say this hyper floorless Rex coaster due to theme to the famous droid Dex R and his backstory when he worked for aliens mining bubble gum for Cosmic Cow's Comet Trail bubble gum ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> this this huh. should this prototype be picked. We will include specially made custom sports giant star field to give the illusion of flying through space, special lighting package, and more. Okay. Hopefully you enjoy. It. Well, I wish I you included some of that stuff because yeah that would be or at least like hinted at like how right. it would work yeah i like the idea of the like, mining bubble gum on yeah. asteroids or something that although based off of our pre-shows and backstories um they haven't met yet but i guess i should yeah i did explain that in some of my videos but it's fine but you, all these things can be adjusted they also, they also turned cosmic cow into cosmic cow so that's true they had a reason for doing that right yeah you just tied it all together. Good job. <laughs> the bubblegum thing can come to reality. Yeah. It's so weird riding these without music now. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Should, should have just put some generic plan Planko music. True. Isn't so, there isn't there a Cosmic Voyage song? <laughs> are there? I think, I think there, there is. Really a dark ride song. Are there really four lift hills on this? Poster? Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> pa, 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 and, it, and it didn't speed it up either. Pa, 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 yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like some of these, like, just going to the workshop and downloading some random stuff to depict some of these scenes was really important for this coaster in particular because we want to get a visualization of what kind of a journey Dexar is going to have. And, you know, give us that, I guess, almost like a, I was, I was envisioning it almost like a Pixar experience. Like, um, like he's Wally. Huh. And how, what kind of like little scenes can we have? Yeah, it's, it's very hard to like, say, yes, I want this person to, to theme the coaster or to the experience when they don't really give us any. Anything to go off of. 
Yeah. yeah. And even the terrain work itself, like, I, I don't know how good Katarina is here at the, um, the terraforming. Uh, and I think this is uh, while while uh, yeah like you, we said that you're gonna do terraforming but you have to redo it. We didn't ask you to make us perfect terrain, just blobs, yeah. blobby, blobby, blobby. And we do have a little bit of that, you know. And and but, it's there needs to be a separation between scenes. This I can see the whole coaster in one scene. I don't get the feeling I'm gonna be going on a voyage when I can see the entire voyage based off of my sight lines. And that's the problem I have with this. Yeah, coaster. I mean, e even at the minimum, like do some signage, like just have a sign at the top of your lift hill that says, hey, this is where you enter this. Mm -hmm. Like g just to give a, a story idea or something, like I don't mind the terrain not being detailed because obviously we're, we're not using the terrain that they're giving us anyway. I still think but it's like, important to block sight it is lines. A Yes, it is. But I think the more important thing to me is the theming for, for especially for yeah, this one. If if we if we chose this builder, what does it become? What can we expect right. to see? And 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 we as we've seen with previous creations like mushrooms and this and that, like all sorts of uh, things, uh, uh, kind of hinting at what it will become. And that was the idea behind the prototype itself: is not just the coaster, but just a little bit of uh, try to visualization. And it's missing the visualization for me. So no matter how good the coaster was, we wouldn't even really know where to go from here. But I also feel like it's right. it's majority lift hill experience, which kind of is a bit of a drag for me. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to add there, Zay? For? Uh, no, not really. I think it's you guys covered everything. Okay, so we also have a blueprint coaster, so why don't we go ahead and put that down? Mm -hmm. So this one right away, this is from Dun Dun, and he says built in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. I'm placing it. We're riding it. Off we go. Well, at least we have. This is what we're talking about. Literally, some visualization, right? Like we're in some sort of starship. This is where the aliens deploy their fleet. I don't know, the droids are all working in the background there. I can kind of start to put the things together in my head, right? Little worker right, droids in the background think, there. The repair station the here. If you want it. What's that? Um, they've got a walk through here if you want it. Okay. You'll walk through, walk into an alien factory, sci-fi base, and board the coaster. The coaster will be fully indoor. It passed by the Dexar storage room. And you this find your alien indoor? human tech here oh, no. and some <laughs> other scrap metal. Then the coaster will bring you to a maintenance area and launch bay, and you get launched into a space battle. Which is, I assume, what we're at now. You can and this find whole thing is indoor. Clean up yeah, the middle of it. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, uh, I they, it seems like they want it to be indoor, and that's right. gonna kill our FPS harder than the rest of the park will. Yeah, because you have to build all the walls, the ceilings, the starry panels, everything. Yeah. In infinite amounts of starry panels. I've, I've done these indoor dark rides, and just one indoor dark ride and nothing else in the park, I get like 20 FPS. <laughs> I mean, you, you could do it with the giant billboards if you attached images, but that would be crazy hell for us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. What's up, Zay4? Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be indoors. <laughs> End of right. Story. Yeah. Right. I don't know if that's even what they meant. Um, and then... Uh, so Dexar is doing cleanup in the middle of the space battle. Your coaster will be hit and accidentally crash into a human aircraft carrier and land into its engine room. You will then blast your way out and black in, back into the main alien facility. That's cool. I mean, at least there's um, a description, Sorry. a description to right. tell us what what we will be expecting. As we ask for like seeing mm -hmm. like little things put about, um, you can even just describe what you're supposed to be seen and I think this has a little bit more of a, a visual depiction and we had well, the, the starry battle and the right. hangar bay so I, I definitely think that is uh, an improvement bigger longer coaster I think using a launch coaster is actually kind of smart because yes you know it makes sense it's generally smart for any kind of exploration coaster <laughs> yeah right. yeah so you avoid the four lift hills <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Unfortunately, it has some of the sim similar issues we talked about here, and I feel like we're just kind of repeating ourselves if we go over them. Yeah, I mean, it, it, without the music, without the audio cues sort of like hinting at what we should be seeing, I mean, it's requiring a lot more like actual temporary theming to kind of kind of convey that. Well, that's, so it's, that's uh, exactly what we're saying is basically we're going to add the story to what we see. So you have to kind of deliver a little bit more than the other ones. And mm -hmm. we have the star battle, though, and we have this, but I also feel like 
we need the terrain. We really do need that terrain. So definitely helps. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, go on to the next one. Next up is Zav. Uh, I just want to point this out that I take 14 wolves. We are skipping that one because one, he says it's not finished. And two, it was an RMC. And I, I clearly said to everyone, nobody gets to use an RMC other than Missy Goods. So well, the uh, hybrid anyway, the it's hybrid. Yeah. Fine, yeah. We, we don't want another one of those coasters. So even if, you know, and, and if, if the coaster is not finished, we don't really want to look at an unfinished coaster. But anyways, we have uh, here, we have Zavs. Mm -hmm. And they say this is their first ever submission to the channel again. Let's see here. I hope you enjoy the launches and the turns on the Dexar coaster. Um, and that's pretty much it. Well, this one's more sprawling in terms of taking us on an adventure, just from mm -hmm. first glance. Let's see how it goes. Wait, did I not close it down? There we go. And we're gonna go wing? Let's go wing. Placeholder! What is it placeholding? Thing. All, all I saw was thing. All right, there's gonna be a thing there, guys. I saw the word cryptic, so I'm kind of interested. A cryptic thing. Gotta love those cryptic things. All right, passing through some stuff. Nice and smooth. Whoosh. I mean, this feels good so far. Mm hmm. We'll have to go check out the nice signs. Nice launch. I mean, everything feels smooth. I've been riding nothing but Park Beyond coasters for the last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. I just I just watched the Gelsian one today. I didn't even I didn't even look at the comments. I'm like I'm so, I know everyone's over this game already. I it, wanna, it only took a week to die. I, I want to see a side by side of Gelsian's Park Beyond coaster with his actual ones. Oh my god, that'll be a that challenge be for the future: recreating your coasters in Park Beyond. Right. Go ahead, Zayfor, <laughs> get started. Uh, uh, so let's see some of these placeholder signs for electric cryptic tunnel thing. Okay, what was okay, the? What is this? Big. I want this to be a depot. All right. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't much of a voyage, but the coaster was kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, it was nice. a little bit flat. There were some. Yeah. There were some spins, and I think I think it could go a little bit more. Uh, it's it's almost like it. It's too sprawled out. Mm -hmm. Like you could yeah, fit that it same use blueprint, it. right? It, it doesn't, doesn't make enough space well. use of the space. Yeah, right. And it doesn't feel like very kind of like. It's epic. the same as like a, a there a, a there and back again coaster. It's just it's a little loop. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of crazy to me that um, so the requirements that we set on people for this whole competition, I, I would say there's different levels of difficulty, and the. The Dark Carnival one was definitely the high, highest difficulty. I'd say Dexar was like the bare entry level. I figured we would add a, so many Dexar submissions and people just going buck wild with an exploration coaster. I, I kind of just expected exploration coasters like we've seen from our previous exploration coaster contests. And they're actually all very, very short, yeah. you know? like. I said, just make a voyage across uh, the galaxy and you have all of this space to work with. And um, no. I'm surprised at how short and small and there's no music that you have to time it to. This is this one is like a, a, a give me in terms of difficulty. But so far, Dexar hasn't gotten much love in terms of uh, sprawling explorer of coasters going through the terrain still haven't seen any terrain work so hopefully we got one more left from hollywood hopefully uh putting some pressure on that one <laughs> yeah i mean I, I didn't want to end on on too negative a note with my comment because I, I wanted to say that like i i did enjoy this coaster actually it's not bad right yeah because it's, it's not bad it's just yeah there's a yeah as far as like you know hitting the hitting the, the Check boxes, boxes for like what right. we're kind of looking for here right it's, 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 it's not what we're looking for but it, it is enough yes not, yeah uh, to thank you to backtrack on my point if i if i came off too harsh the ones that we've seen so far haven't really checked the boxes in terms of what we're looking for but those boxes you know, I, I thought to be were pretty straightforward in terms of just make us an exploration coaster that goes to the terrain and um you're not really checking those boxes for us not that they're bad creations uh or, or anything like that so let's go take a look at the last one for dex r hey, i recognize these guys huh guys it's dex r that's cool <laughs> all right next up we have uh hollywood 488 what's going on here zay uh hollywood says holy 
Christ, he says to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he does. Um, my coaster is a co- uh, that will teleport you to points in time in various scenarios that Dexar experienced. So the station would be home to the base of the aliens that manufactured him um, and the manufacturing of the new model, red model, the Dexar, Dexar 2. The Dex I Exterminator. Thought that, I, I thought that was his like midlife crisis model when he gets a red sports car version. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like it. The Let's... new red model is the Ship result it. of Dexar. Dexar becomes sent in and defying orders when he rescues Cosmic Cow. After leaving the station, you will travel a short distance slowly before entering the teleportation portal with a transition moment to the launch sequence. After blasting through the exit portal, you'll be flying around the space battle uh, on a planet between Dexar, his creators, and another alien race. The blocks in all the areas are just ideas of where buildings will go, not necessarily the exact shape, so forth. There'll be numerous visuals and laser blasts, impacts, explosions. Next teleportation, teleportation portal will blast you into a, a mission to another pl- alien planet where Dexar had to commandeer a rare resource being mined on the only planet. There will be numerous drills, many holes for tunneling, mining, excavation stuff. The buildings will be processing plants with smokestacks, industrial fill, and then the next portal, you go skyward to a more leisurely mission location where Dexar was sent to observe Cloud City. Mm. Um, things like the Jetsons or Cloud City Star Wars, for oh, example. And you have the city backdrop right here for that. That's kind of sick. <laughs> yeah. They tried. They they said they tried the the Ghostbuster swirling cloud, but that destroyed the frame rate. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can you can set it to like uh, to only go off when the coaster passes, but but we yeah. can also just do basic shape clouds. I think that's more fun. Yeah. It's probably uh, the, the, the 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 Ghostbuster one's like too dark and stormy. Really. Mm-hmm, Once right. leaving the Cloud City, you'll teleport to where Dexar rescued Cosmic Cow and see what transpired during their rogue mission, and then. Uh, live happy ever after okay yeah i think um, i actually like the fact that you integrated the saving of cosmic cow at the end it actually ties the rides together and he listened to my backstory so uh that's kind of fun and we are seeing different scenes and different planets and it feels more like a voyage to different places around the galaxy even though it's not fully fleshed out i just take one look at it and i my brain goes oh this will become an area that i'm immersed in and then boom i'm in another area and there are sight lines separating them this is kind of what we were talking about so yep hollywood to the rescue here with you know doing something with the terrain that separates the journey and tells a different story with the, each of the different segments looking good from the outside what do you guys think yeah i i agree with that let's let's give it a ride though okay let's do it i'm curious what all the pencils are lying around though <laughs> Those are the drills. Oh, okay. Drills. Gotcha. Drills. Yeah, they're mining. Mining facilities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's the cosmic cow. I forgot that some... Who who made that little Dexar droid that we had over there? Um, I remember oh, someone made that... F- description. Shop co- um, uh, contest. Uh, this just in. This just in. Yeah, I remember that was for our shop contest. Whoa! So we're going through a tunnel. A tunnel, a warp, yeah. Warping, uh, space warping. All right. Yeah, the terrain feels very big. The space is used well. Yeah, I could definitely see this translating to okay we're on a different planet now mm-hmm. and then and then launching to the next one yes that works that's perfect yeah i like that this looks like a factory area i don't know why that's what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like a, right. a mining facility planet okay a heavy industrial I guess like Doom or something, you know, they didn't, oh. wasn't that the story of Doom? They went to Mars to like harv- yeah. to get resources and found aliens or some something. Yeah. Um, boom. I like that transition from red into blue. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. yeah, this is neat. This part will probably be the hardest, the most difficult to theme, but... I think it, but also the fact that you can see the park and then you can also see the city, the backdrop. Yeah. That. It won't be, it won't be too bad. I think each one of those platforms could be plots and, and we just tell people we need, we need a futuristic utopian plots and give them like, you know, a thousand pieces or something. I mean, if you're doing that, I'm going to build one. (laughs) (laughs) 
We're we're already planning. <laughs> I've been doing I've been doing nothing but sci-fi stuff outside of this, so that would be awesome. Well, I think uh, Hollywood intended that to be that he's putting these blocks down as plots, um, yeah. or or maybe he wants to build some of that. But you know, the idea is that if the community can help, why not? People like mm -hmm. signing out plots and they like building stuff, and it gets the job done quicker when you have eighty people working on something at the same time. Right. Mm-hmm. That is the. Uh, so is this supposed to be Cos Cosmic Cow? Like yeah, a, yeah. Like he's... home planet or something? I guess yeah. This is where he's rescuing her. That's that. I like that. Yeah, this looks really neat. It's giving me like Hoth vibes. Very as cool. long as he doesn't yeah. take a, take a cosmic cow, holler her out, and then sleep in the in her insides. <laughs> what? What? What did you just say? <laughs> That's what happens on half. Oh, oh. The, the oh okay. Tauntaun. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. I was out, like, yeah. oh, what is Zephyr smoking right now? What the heck did what he just say? On Hoth stays on Hoth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I Zephyr. guess. I, I guess I. Him. I set that up. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So, I really like the way this is set up, just as a proof of concept. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. I was waiting for yeah, Zephyr to say something, because... <laughs> yes, I mean... It, I'm letting you even, guys talk. Even, even though, like, the, you know, the um, the general footprint really probably isn't even as large as some of the other coasters we, we've seen, the um, because of the, the way it's the layout's designed, it feels big. It feels expensive. What do you mean? I think it's oh, the right, biggest right. one by far. Oh, you, you mean of the really? other coasters in the other areas or the other Dexar coasters? I mean, I think some of the other Dexar coasters were. It's, it's 3,700 meters. No, no, the footprint. Oh, the footprint. The, the foot. Ah, yeah, the, the size. About, yeah, I see. yeah, yeah. If you fit like more track in the space that you were given, that's yeah, what, right. Right. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very efficient. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. in terms of yeah, this this is really a cosmic voyage. We're talking four thousand meters, four mile coaster. Yeah, uh, efficient and four expansive. Kilometer. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels big, even though it's like you know, it's it's kind of contained to relatively oh, small areas. And and to like get into the the audio, like to do some voiceovers, I can already see this being really, really conducive to, to good voiceovers. Oh, yeah, covers. absolutely. Because, like, yeah. every launch, you can go, like, okay, now launching to the next mission, and you can yeah, even have, like, yeah. you know, some ro some robots, like, telling them the, what the next mission is and, like, you know, sort of setting the background for the new planet area. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of like acts of a movie. Like, you've got, like, three acts of a movie, except this has, like, five. <laughs> and, and to your point with the the voice acting portion of things, where some of the other coasters, you need the, you need the visual cue on cue like you're passing by it there's the visual moving on and you need it like it's 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 only there in in existence for a brief moment in time where the coaster here is it's running circles 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 around the scenery over and over again and instead of like building to what like building stuff that you see to what you're saying you're you can instead literally just have this whole area built out as just cool scenery that you're traveling through and you have now whatever is 35 seconds of coaster time in this area to tell a story about this planet so instead of like kind of describing what you see on the way as you go it's like this is the story of the red planet we have 30 seconds to tell it let's tell it while we're traveling around and then we go to the next area you know what i mean so this you buy that time to create a, like a, a small story section and oh yeah it, no, we don't have to like go you know this on the left this on the right like the song hits points that you see on the way and then in an other voice acted rides that uh, jeffrey has done he's he's describing things that you see on the left and the right whether you're a tour guide or this or that and it's more like on the beat and even for the dueling coaster i haven't i haven't watched it yet but warmguard just finished setting it up you probably are calling things out as you see them in glimpse moments and and brief you know it's like as it happens that's not yeah, that's not the case here we just have time to tell right. a story and i think that yeah, the, works there's almost not enough <laughs> to, to to that point there's almost not enough time to really talk about the dueling coasters in the city because it's so cramped and, and everything whereas this yeah like you're saying it's you you have a lot of the, what i was saying like earlier on during the malice uh, uh malice and wonderland coasters is that you have some breathing room. Or actually, it was a cosmic cow coaster. As I was talking about, like you need some breathing room on your on your rides to like, right? You know, have tra good transitions. Like transitions are really important in everything from music to to visuals. So right. 
Yeah, and and yeah, this this is a, a good opportunity to build a generic story where it's like this is all a bunch of generic theming, but no, now we can write a story to this planet, and uh, we don't have to like specifically worry about like okay, now at this point on the coaster we have to talk about this thing here, and it actually makes it easier. It's going to be a much of a, a smoother <laughs> creation to conceptualize that it's just a general area, general area. Here's your plots. Let's look at the community to build it. And what I like about this mm -hmm. is exactly that. This is a very community driven an aspect where it's like all of this stuff uh, are different lands. This is almost like four themed areas in the sci-fi genre. And right. we get to assign all of this stuff out to people and cram it in there and, and, and see it come together. Then we just add some cool stories on top of that. And because the Cosmic Cow area is included, we can actually go ahead and save her and tie the two things together. So yeah, it's it's really good. What did you guys think about the actual like flow of the coaster? I love it. I, I did. I had nothing really to say about that to be honest. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's nice. It doesn't do anything like too fancy. I mean, it's mainly just going around in circles. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're really relying on the theming to mm -hmm. basically create the thrills because the coaster, I mean, the coaster is like nice and smooth and so forth, but you, you it's really just an exploration. You're, we're just exploring here. <laughs> but to your point, Zafor, he has set it up in, a, or they have set it up in such a way that uh, it's just asking for plots and scenery. So once all yeah, of exactly. that stuff I mean, is in, the, point, yeah. the, the whole package should be delivered quite nicely and the coaster doesn't ha need to have all these special inversions and heartline <laughs> rolls and crazy things. Yeah, I think it's good. I think this kind of coaster is something i would want to do a lot of like like a uh, battle effects or like drilling effects or or like mm -hmm. you have because what they first said it's like it's a little bit lazier of a ride that you can show a lot more like animation so that, that'll be fun to do. Yeah, I think the community will have a, a riot. It, this basically, it gives us, it helps us make theming in sci-fi land, right? Like yep. it, give, it gives us a whole bunch of plots and opportunities that uh, are equal to that of the city. It and actually works as a really nice contrast to, um, is it Starry, Starry Agents Coaster? Because Starry Agents Coaster is like completely basically the complete opposite, where it's like the coaster is presiding the all Cow. the trails. Right. Yeah. Whereas, and then it's like, it's less focused on the, the, the scenery is more on like, you know, the, the coaster layout for the fun. Whereas this is like the complete opposite. You're, you're focusing on the, the theming, um, of the, you know, of the scenery rather than the actual coaster. Yeah, right. no, that was kind of my hope for Dex R. That's the reason I was like, let's not go with the theme song, not only because I didn't have one fitting for it, but I knew by making an explorative coaster that we do voice acting to would open up for a completely different feel. And we want all the main attractions to offer something different. And when you guys actually see what, you know, based off what you've seen in this video here and what gets refined, and then what we also have in the future planned for other things, uh, I think once we go as a park spotlight tour, going from ride to ride to ride, to ride every single ride is going to be completely different in what it has to offer and uh this one in particular is probably going to be the most explorative with sightseeing and i really like that so we needed something like that in this park for sure so i mean i think i think everyone has pause gleaming positive reviews for hollywood on this one so we just need yep. to see what he can do or they can do to uh push this to the next level cool all right all and right. we have one final character to go renee Fu. she's over here in the jungle and it can be a coaster or a dark ride but she is a tyrant and she is ha haunting little planko monsters so let's go check that out okay as mentioned we're moving on to uh renee Fu. she's a hunter uh i guess i could bring up images of all these characters too uh i have the images just not the tmtk yet but she is a little bit of a hunter we have a song called the tyrant and the idea here is that she is the baddie so that it's a inverse dark ride i guess which is a fun concept. We, we said you could do a dark ride or a coaster, like it could be a Huntsman. And this is R Rocket Riot. It seems like he's used a tracked launch coaster, like a torque or something. And uh, what does he have to say here? I think it's the drive build coaster, right? Oh, drive tire coaster. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Yeah, they say, um, I synced up the coaster as much as possible to the audio track, the siren, and have added basic structure on what I think the final design will be. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. Wow, this uh, has a lot going on. Yeah, wow. Okay, uh, let me, is there a custom soundtrack or do I use the default? They said audio does not need to be edited as it syncs up with the coaster it's, perfectly. Yeah. yeah, it's already attached. Ooh, I like it. Yep. I like it, I like it. Okay, we're gonna take it down to 70% volume, throw it into test, and I guess track view or seat? What do you guys think? Probably track seat view. 
right? Well, I yeah, don't know, SPV. because it's a, a bit of a dark ride, we want to sit up high. Yeah, CV makes sense. Ooh, I think we want the volume up a little bit louder for this one. Let's do that. I want to be immersed. I do love this song. It's fun. I'm getting hyped already. I'm a tyrant Twisting your mind Using your heart against you So sign on the dotted line I promise the sun and the, <laughs> the moon The drat! Now you're mine That's great. You can't hide Nice. I'm a tyrant I know how to speak I'll use my smoke and my Ooh. beer Reflecting oh. all of your needs till you're down on the floor, trained and weak on your knees. Hey. song wow i do think i mean with some refinement like certain bit i feel like there's a little bit of elements of the coaster that could be tweaked a little bit to go with the instrumentals a bit better or uh some of the vocals um but just things that you just add there's it's it's already there it just needs refinement but the bass layout the the, the beats kind of hit on all the high points of the theme song one thing I wanted to mention before I ask your guys' thoughts on the coaster, I see that they added the uh, Foxy there. It's supposed to represent the, the Renee Fu that we actually have, right? We actually have her pointing her gun, and I guess you guys haven't seen it yet, but uh, you guys on the watching the video will see it because I'll bring it up on the screen. But to let you guys know that are on the call with me is that she's got her, her she's pointing her gun and then she has another where she's choking a pink penguin and she's got pink penguin skulls on her belt she's hunting pink penguins <laughs> <laughs> and, and and i was saying that we wanted her to be hunting cutesy and it's just kind of funny because pink penguins have become part of our plank overs in terms of this community and it is a creature and it would make sense that she's trying to put an end to them so with that there is representations of the character being imposing so what we wanted to do batch is going to make a non-lit one so it's not super glowy like this and we could just do a like a little light you know um a beam and it kind of so it, it's not super bright but kind of stands out just a little bit but kind of glooms in the shadows you know what i mean as yeah, and, then, and then yeah and then that way we can have uh like the little penguins and stuff like <laughs> getting hunted and <laughs> um and then we can also have uh people in the community create like you got box cats she can kill anything right she's literally killing all of the planko creatures she's a she's a tyrant and she is the dark she's ride a poacher. yeah she's a poacher yeah exactly and uh it's kind of funny because that's not how you <laughs> frontier wouldn't be very happy with our decision no, not really. <laughs> but i love Love it. What do you guys think of that concept, first of all? And then what yeah. did you think I mean, of the ride? You know, it's a cool concept. It's basically like um, the new Doom games. In the new Doom games, they've kind of <laughs> emphasized that, that the, the Doom Marine is seen by the demons as like the bad guy. He's, he's right. seen as like somebody who's like this ultimate killer. Yes. Even though like your 
they're fighting demons, the right. demons like all see him as the bad yeah. guy. Yeah, because he's that's really kind of cool. Like, twist yeah, you're on right. It, and then Doom is the perfect the depiction of that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one, Zay. For uh, Warmgar, wouldn't even have thought about that. But yeah, um, I mean, I, I'll just talk about the coaster itself because sure. the drive tire launch is my current favorite coaster. Mm -hmm. uh, just in general, I love I love making like these. They're not, you know, by any means realistic. It's more like you're making a dark ride. Mm -hmm. And this this is the kind of coaster that I would, you know, that that's the kind of experience that I try to make almost all the time now is like I don't go for realism. So th this one just speaks to me in like a different way. Uh, like th this is what I do, <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I, I think they they nailed all, all the story elements of like, you know, turning a coaster into a dark ride. And I like that. And I think uh, out of all the songs to add to your point there, this song is has the best lyrical yes. flow it to visuals. So, it goes so well. Like th this, out of all of them so far, well, like the, with the lyrics and everything, this is the best yeah. that I've seen in the entire, like out of all the submissions that we've seen, I think maybe other than uh, one of the Malice. But, but, uh, but to my point, the, the, the song itself helps build, it, it's, it's a better song lyrically to do the whole song to, right? right. Yeah, because like basically every word that comes out of her mouth, you could have a scene built to. It's, it's, this is the most, like lyrically, it's the most action packed, right? Yeah. So it translates well to an action packed coaster. Yeah, Zephyr, what do you think there, about the coaster design? There, there are parts where it could definitely do with a bit of smoothing. It's yep. kind of like, it's yes. a little rough, rough in sections, but yep. you know, that's not a big deal. That can easily be. I was like, going to ask know. you, do you know what rank <laughs> rock, Rocket Riot is? Oh, um, Zephyr, I just, don't actually. Just wait until you ride the city coasters. Oh, yeah, no, I, I have ridden them. So, yeah, so they're a good company. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even registered? Might not be. No. You can't, so can, just type his name into Discord, someone. So they, oh no, they're unranked. Unranked. Yeah. Okay, I was, yeah. I was gonna guess that this person was a builder, but I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna say, I didn't wanna offend them when find out, finding out that they were advanced or expert. But yeah, it's really uh, interesting, they're, they're on a bunch of other things. They're Salty Prawn Squad, they're contestant, they're right. everything but ranked. Wow. Oh, yeah. So I was going to say, I felt there were a lot of builderish things, but that, mm -hmm. um, to my point there is you don't need to be an expert master or legend to have good concepts. And mm -hmm. you can be a very creative, oftentimes that we've seen in previous contests where we have like the megalithic amount of submissions, like hundreds, um, we've always said that the unranked beginner and builder brackets were always the most surprising. And this is like, kind of speaks to that where it's like, okay, this person's super creative but they haven't really gotten all like the little minute details and you know things ironed out in terms of getting good at the game and you feel that here and i do feel like if this if we were to pick this builder um they probably need some sort of expertise some assistance uh, a collaborative partner to help them get the coaster just feeling right to hit some of those notes there were certain things that i was like oh you could have hit that inversion a little bit sooner or time that a little bit better or you know like smooth that area out and then you know just conceptualizing how were we going to bring this temple to life what's that going to look like are we going to let the community build that or what what have you i think this builder could definitely maybe we could let them try to do it on their own but i definitely feel like some assistance yeah, could go a long I way think, i think one thing i would say about this one is i think out of all of them this is probably the most part count heavy yes when it's finished uh, most of the other ones i think we can get away with doing a little bit less as far as theming but, but also this one i I also disagree yeah. because we can just fill it with trees and mountains. Uh, yeah, kind of. So it's it's like, you know, some doodads here. You just once you're at, at eye level, you know, we can cut we could just cut the sight lines off. I think it's more that maybe the temple was giving me that feeling. But yeah, the temple for sure. Yeah, I agree. But yeah. mm, the temple's going to be cheaper than our hero builds. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think you could do the temple in less than 4K. So we, we that could that could be something. Like I said, if if the design is good and it flows well, and we all agree that it fit the song nicely, and they actually use the whole song, which is cool, with some refinement to the layout, uh, these could all become plots. So if this builder isn't the ma most masterful in terms of aesthetically theming things, we'll just uh, assign this to somebody to build us the most gorgeous 
temple ever. And, um, sure. you know, so I think this one has a lot of potential. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, my other question is like placement wise, this one was kind of the, probably the most confusing, like, because do, can, cause this one, it's, this, this is pretty nice placement. Cause it's like just taking off like the final third of the thing, you know? So it's like, you know, for the, there's still some area of the, the zone that can be theme park added with yeah normal themes to park stuff i kind of w i went in my map i put the boarding station here because i realized because with scope creep i didn't want to make this whole area a park because right. just park count i'd rather half of it be a ride and okay, okay. yeah and so, so like this this is kind of like uh, like what you were picturing then yeah yeah uh, and in fact we didn't even plan for these rivers to stay the way they are we're this is just like sure, sure, sure. whatever just put that there but you know like we want Galpi to be somewhere we want tiki cheeky to be somewhere this is plenty of room for that we can even do a, a tiki cheeky island if we really needed to right okay sounds so, good so okay. we have plenty to... we have plenty of space here for sure okay sounds good yeah, no, I'm quite happy with how much space we have here. Uh, more so than the Western area. This place is getting crampy. You should see what they're doing with the uh, shooting ride. There's not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I'm not seeing the shooting ride. No, it's it's getting crampy. And there's a train that goes through here now. It's it's oh, yeah. it's uh, claustrophobia, but they recently opened it up a bit. So it's pretty cool. Look forward to showing you guys that. But That's anyways. Cool. And, um, and somebody crammed a whole coaster in there. Wow, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, wow. Uh, Rocket Riot, go get your freaking rank. Unranked yes. member. Put them yep. them up to builder and uh looking good. Looking good. Uh you might just be the surprise factor of this whole contest so far. So let's give it up for Rocket Riot. Hey, good let's job. let's start a riot. All right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have Mouse Ear 71. And uh, we've already said that everything we need to say about this, I'll let Zephyr take it away. Oh, uh, well, it. I'm not going to take it very far because all they say <laughs> is expect sound effects with the audio that match the events of the ride. Gotcha. That's okay. And we have a water cascade coaster. And uh, they didn't give a custom file, did they? Um, There is an audio file, but I don't know if it's. Oh, different yeah, there is. Than Mouse Ears. Sorry. Yeah. Good thing I double checked. Let's uh, throw this thing into test. Are we supposed to go at night or is there a day night sequencer? They don't say. It's a water coaster. I'm just going to go at day. Yeah, water generally looks better at day. All right. I don't hear any audio. I don't either. Just maybe wait um, for it. I hear birds chirping, but I don't know if that's part of the, the ambience or if that's part of the audio. Let me let me just double check. Refresh. There it goes. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> yep. Planet coaster hiccup, right? Mm-hmm. Or not. I'm assuming well, they just they just have a blank spot in the they edited it. Yeah, that's because they that's what they, it they, like. they they Zavor just said that they said that they were gonna have sound effects and stuff. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be just some peacefulness um before Renee kicks into high gear here, which I'm okay with. A little, little bit of a uh, build up. Everything's calm. There's pink penguins swimming in the water. You know, duckies flapping about, and then bang, headshot. Oh, yeah, this makes sense. And it's just instrumentals, so far different approach <laughs> but with more cool stuff oh, I love that hot springs no, this is fine though boom boom the instrumentals are sick on this song yeah oh, oh. And then immediately they cut cuts out. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to appreciate that <laughs> until I wasn't. Ooh, dark and mysterious rainforest. Why not continue the instrumentals? So uh, it's well, maybe like... they're fine with that, but they it's like they need a, like a different type of instrumental or section or something. They need that. Yeah. I, don't know. I would have just liked to hear what what it would like sound like if you just played it out. Yeah, this this just seems like a more chill experience than an action. Action right. coaster or something. Well, it didn't have to be an action coaster, but um, in, in some ways I felt like 
with the last one, I thought it was going to be slower paced, but then I was surprised that it worked at a faster pace. Um, and I, I, I predicted that the, the best one would actually be a slower coaster. I but, mean, wait, we, this isn't over yet. I know. Yeah, we're still like halfway, <laughs> through. We're like no. halfway through, I think. Okay, we're back. The mystery. Boom, boom. Counter. There she is. Truck chase. I'm a tyrant. I know there we go. How to speak. I'll use my smoke and my mirrors reflecting all of your needs. Oh, the gunshots are great. In terms of engineering the audio, it's hard for me to visualize what's going to replace that. With, like, you know what I mean? Because if you could have, you could have, whatever the final version would be, wouldn't be much harder to do it in the prototype. Hmm. Bump, bump, bump. The f <laughs> okay. The, the, this the, I felt like this, the the best parts of the song were used at the wrong times, and um, kind of yeah. Yeah, it was it was like kind of backwards for some reason. So so the, this this one definitely has pacing, and like they tried to use some kind of like form of storytelling with chopping up. It's the opposite problem what I was talking about earlier, where there's it, it seems like there's a little bit too much empty space on right. this one compared to the others, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it, you know, obviously it needs that, but it's it's almost like it's a little bit too chill until we meet up with Fu, and then hearing her voice singing at those times is a little bit out of place, because right. it's the first time that you hear it for, like, five minutes of ride, right? If you're gonna have that much build-up when the, the final... Like, the choruses of the song have a lot of umph in them. And for them to all be happening, or some of it being happening, just on, like, the lift hill at the end, it doesn't give you that grand finale. And and it's like, and now she's explaining that she's a tyrant and, and you know, hitting hitting that those notes. But we're not, we don't have that, um, that, I guess, yeah, that I... grand finale, that explosion. Uh, but there were parts of the... The gun shooting in the car ride scene, I love that. I wish yeah, I, I, I definitely see what they're going for, and I, I like that they're trying to do the build-up. Like, I think yes. that's actually really, really well thought out. It's just that it might not be executed in this prototype version the way it would be in a final version, right? So it's not... It, the prototype doesn't exactly give us like what a finished version would look like with this. It, it's hard for me to envision it, right? The prototype needs to do that so that we right. we envision it and pick it. And and right. I feel like it's when hard for me to do that with this one. The instrumentals coming through here and building that mystery here with the sounds of the instrumentals, it should kick into high gear of the chorus here when the gun starts shooting and all the crazy stuff happens and just play out the song all the way up to. And then when you get to the final lift and and it's and she's the song basically should be end and over at this point because all of the action has ended then you could just ride out some instrumentals mm -hmm. to the end right? right just just to kind of die it back down so you start with like some little bit of chillness there's a big action point and then it ends kind of chill it, it, it fades back off what do you think right. say for yeah i mean the like the slow water sections because this this song has lots of slow parts yeah where it's like really down tempo and you're on a 
like half water ride, half coaster. When you're in the water, it's really down tempo, really slow. I mean, it seems like a perfect time to have those parts of the song be playing. Yes. And most of the time they weren't. And it, that seems like a lost opportunity. Yes, it didn't translate right. well or they didn't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. They had to they had to cut the audio to fit what they want to do with the ride. So yeah, but the question is, is like, yeah. what are they doing with the ride? Because there isn't really much happening. Right. Right. Yeah, I think I think it's just a matter of like choosing the, the Cascade water ride and then not um, it's the, the balancing act of like get i've seen this before and like sir alan did a boat ride for one of his parks that i uh, featured a while ago a month or so ago and i was like this is like the most boringest ride until it's not because this thing travels so slowly it's worse than a log flume it feels because it's also just like on the water level i don't know it, so in order for you to get going and that you want all that action to be in the cave that's like a minute long duration and the song is like over by then so you have to kind of compensate for things and i just think it's maybe the water cast Skate is a good choice, but your boarding station probably needs to be like here and high. Yeah. Well, I don't, if, I don't know. I mean, uh, you you could just use them because they're the the slow parts of the song. You could, you know, use like um in a in an interesting fashion. Like you could re maybe repeat sections of them and um. Right, but I'm just saying it has such a long distance to go that you actually run out of like uh run out of song. Yeah, you run out of song. So <laughs> yeah. you, like the so, the amount of boat ride needs I've, to be. I mean, shorter. I've been on Pirates of the Caribbean, which is a 14 minute ride right. with one fucking song. I, it's yeah. like you know the, right. it, it, it can be done. Right. You you but you have to you kind of have to you know. You, so you, I, you, I yeah I. I I think with water cascade coasters, I would rather see the, the actual use of the water sections only at the end of the ride, like where it's just a straight splash down and the rest of it is the coaster. And if you want to include it going through like a river slowly, uh, it just can use, glide. It can glide with well, fake water. Right, glide, glide, and, glide and use the river rapids. Right. Like no, that way you I, don't I, have I, to I don't, waste. I actually, yeah, I actually don't agree with you guys because it's like it starts oh. out just like parts of the Caribbean does. And and the song starts out with this slow buildup, hmm. this idea of like, you know, it's and then it doesn't kick in. It's like, you know, the act, the her like you know actual rage coming out until much later into the song so right. the idea of like a slow watery section then then all of a sudden yeah. the the water the water goes away and you're going into a full coaster section is cool but the coaster section is really condensed the song doesn't yeah. really start until you get to the coaster section so you get a l only little taste of the instrumental and you don't get enough of this the song I, I, I think everybody has good points and uh, i think at this at, th at this moment it's a matter of the creator finding the best use for the water cascade yeah. to sell it to us so that it would all all the pieces fit together and we go aha mm -hmm. that that mm -hmm. does seem right now but because you know we're all seeing it differently we're all maybe it needs to be this maybe it needs to be that well you know it, it, Either way, we, we have we're basically bringing it back to the drawing board and going. Right. I, th I think the cascade is a good choice and actually a really yeah. fitting option here. But maybe mm -hmm. the the way it was used was executed for, for, properly. For example, like if you took the the last one we looked at mm -hmm. um, by Riot, and instead of like the starting drive wheels, that was like a water section, and then it launched off. No, no. It's, you're right. Took off and, the water yeah. section, and then it launched off into like the coaster section, and then you know he went back up into that water section, and he did a fake water section, but with a cascade, it could actually be like a real. Yeah. River I section. was gonna say there should be some elements like this um, added into That's... what we saw with riots, having the river rapids like uh, Warmgar suggested in certain parts. I think there are some s improvements and ideas that I think you can combine these two together in some ways. Yeah. Right. I, I I think that that's true for a lot of these, like you know yes. for like the. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know the the Missy Goods ones. You know, Capital Thrills has some cool ideas, and that like the bouncing of the single rail was a good idea. Like if yep. you know, you know, so either the, a lot of these um, submissions, even but the that, ones that is that... that is the success to this competition idea that um, not only yep. are we trying to find the best builder and the best prototype, but through the process of this, uh, the person that we ultimately pick to do it goes, I do also really like what my competitors did, and I want to use what they did, or change my coaster type, or change my layout, and add a few of those things in and at the end of the day mm -hmm. it's like a collab basically yeah. all of people's everybody's ideas together collectively we like kind of merge them into one so i think overall uh this gave us a bunch of happy two for ones i guess if that makes sense yeah yeah this this gave us a good, lot of good ideas i think the implementation the overall implementation didn't quite hit the mark mm -hmm. but there's a lot of good ideas too
to draw from. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have one more and uh, and we're all done. So let's go check out Sanders. All right. Last but not least to finish this whole crazy competition up is Sander. Do they have anything to say for us? Yes, they do. They say when Afu the tyrant is on a killing streak. She <laughs> lives in a broken down cathedral where she locks up her monsters in cages. Step wow. into the ride and help Renee on her journey. Walk down the dungeons where you find the monster she hunted down and go through the sewers to end up in the forest. But watch out for the monsters or the monsters watch out for us. <laughs> the literal Warcraft portal. <laughs> go, to, go to the Outlands. Here we go. Oh, I that's can't... nicely done. Yeah, I can't believe somebody actually did that. That's crazy. I've never seen That's that really before. Cool. All right, let's let's just jump right to it. Am I going at nighttime or what? I don't. Um, it's a dark ride, so usually. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Uh, they probably... don't really say. I don't think. They have an edited soundtrack, so we'll see what they did to it. <clears throat> What's the sign here say? Entrance to dungeon. Wall with skulls. Cell with monsters. Cool. Looking at all the trapped pink penguins. <laughs> I think this might be my favorite ride out of all of them. Like the character, the story. We gotta have hiding penguins in the background. Forest with monsters. Hiding. Yep, perfect. There they are. And <laughs> she's shooting them. Pow, pow. Love to see it. I like they that. Uh, with the these from the workshop? But she's like, you can't hide. And then we went into instrumentals. And then there's like uh, some storytelling there. Mm -hmm. uh, going to Warmgar's point about pacing, I think that worked really nicely. Gives you, gives you time to absorb the fact that she's hunting these things before they go back. Mm -hmm. uh, are they just pulling uh, workshop items, or did they actually make these? No, I think Red Dragon made this. I remember that from his avatar creation. Right, right, right. And I think um, Tango Mango made this. If I'm right about that, my my memory's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how yeah. you remember something like that. Yeah. Eyes everywhere. I like the lava. Whoever we ultimately go with, we have to add lava. I like this little volcano lava thing. Sure. If if it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be in the adventure land, right? Right, yeah. It, it goes along with Tiki Cheeky. And it's very, like, menacing. Dark. Or, yeah, I guess a Tiki Cheeky volcano coaster could be a thing. Yeah. If so, we had room for it, that would be cool. I, we do. We definitely do. And um, we could do a little island if we really wanted to. A volcano in the water. Mm hmm Yeah, so I, I, I really like the first half of this ride. But then it, it wasn't really coming together for me at the second half. And I felt like there were certain lyrics and parts of the song that were completely just disregarded that would have captured, like, as we said with the first one, like the whole, the song has so many good lyrics that work so well that you can depict them perfectly with all of the stuff that you would see around you that we only got portion of it. And I, I felt, I felt per personally like undercut a little bit. I felt like- Yeah, uh, I, I, I definitely saw that on the bridge like the rocking or mm -hmm. swaying bridge section. That's when I was like trying to fit the lyrics to what I was seeing visually and I didn't really get it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I definitely like the ride overall. Just I really yeah. like the first half, like and, and especially the pacing of it, where it's like I'm a, a tyrant and you can't hide. And then it goes into the hunting sequence. Pow, 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 because it, it gives that little bit of breathing room bef that allows now, you to why, actually hunt some stuff. Why is there a portal? 
that's, that's I don't know. kind of my my question is they probably just cool. thought it's cool <laughs> yeah well, i mean like i think it's cool too but does it fit the theme i guess of they're the transitioning lyric? from uh, a dark forest to a magical forest that's the idea there but uh, right. even then like uh, a magical forest feels too fantasy to me and not adventure yeah, I think you could do a portal to a a little bit less fantastical forest uh, mm -hmm. that might go a little bit better with the song. But, but even yeah. even the portal feels too sci-fi to me as well. I feel like what we're getting right. here is adventure, sci-fi, and fantasy all mixed in. Just sticking to the roots of that of the jungle and the temples and that sort of thing, or even volcanic areas. I think there's a lot of different scenery and worlds to explore within the adventure DLC itself. Even just dry uh dry desert, desert or like a yeah. desert yeah just dry desert yeah. land sandy areas that sort of thing you know nobody really adventured that um so much on her and the volcanic regions and stuff so yeah mm -hmm. i'm, I'm yeah. not i'm not the biggest fan of the fantasy and and uh sci-fi they, they're elements. also they also kind of missed out on a lot of like the more upbeat sections like i know it's a, a huntsman so you can't have, like really change speeds but you can spin this baby around yes. like really yes. fast yeah. Um, right, so you right. could do something fun like for a more upbeat a more upbeat section of the song where you know you're spinning a lot mm -hmm. or even just like looking left and right really quick like you're frantic or something right mm -hmm. yeah that, that would that would be that would be a, a little bit more interesting because yeah it, it does kind of just lazily go along until you get to the bridge where it kind of like kind of sways back and forth mm-hmm um, which I like that. It's a nice effect, but with that huntsman, go, go a little bit you, more extreme. You, you, you can do it two ways. You can make it frantic, like you're uh, looking out for her, and she's in the woods hunting. But you could also do it from her perspective. She's pow, pow, like a shooting ride, right? Um, mm -hmm. spinning and finding, looking for the creatures, and that just adds a little bit more coolness to right. it. Right, that would have been a, that would have been interesting to like, because like so far we've seen like a, a third person perspective of Renee, right? Whereas this one could have been first like, person. You are Renee, right? Like you're first With person. With the Huntsman, you're... you can do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That that would have been cool, but but we do have an alley shooting ride coming out, so I, I don't like that idea as much as I do like the idea. I just don't like the idea of right. repeating myself with two different two similar rides so right you know i do i really like the idea of it being third person i, I right. for whatever reason like she's the monster in the woods and but you get this yeah i don't know there's, there's something really fun about this ride and i can't i can't wait to see what the what the final thing ends up being and right now it's all speculation and prototypes and i think that's really fascinating as a whole after this whole competition as a roundup has been really interesting to see and i think everybody has something to be proud of and everybody's contribution actually will go into the final product well if you don't get picked i think we're going to actually talk to whoever we pick and ask them to incorporate some of your ideas from your coasters right i i think there was something good that we liked about every one of these you know talking about a particular bracket like renee Fu, there was something i liked about this one and then the, the last one and the one before that and it's like can we find a way to integrate some of those elements into the final one and just uh you know add that so it's it's a bit of a collaboration and a con contribution m more than it was a competition if that makes sense and i'm actually quite happy about that because at the end of the day this was supposed to be a giant collaborative project and hence why we called it like a competition and not like a, an official channel 5 gaming contest it's why we went with the prototype routes we wanted to see what kind of unique ideas people had and what they would do with it and i think we've had a lot of really interesting and surprising ideas here um and i think we at least have something where we can move forward with and that allows us to continue with the project which is extremely important so really good job right. to everyone you guys have any final thoughts for these builders um i i think uh i think we've said we've said quite a bit already about most of the builds um no i i don't have anything else to add yeah, no i think you covered it i think we're good all right well perfect well thank you warmgar and zafor for joining me today and helping me look at these and we'll definitely uh iterate and go forward and, and work with some of these builders and help them get some of you know whatever we pick we're gonna mash it all together and try to come up with the best possible attractions and thank you to all the viewers for watching i hope you guys enjoyed thank you to the competitors for competing uh we guys really appreciate you bringing your ideas forward uh to help us come up with the best attractions possible so we can make the best theme park ever created happy pac-man <laughs> hey yo hey yo <laughs> and well this is where we uh put warmgar's little waving king coaster in
Oh, and, yeah. And we say bye now. Bye now. Bye now. <laughs>